All right, guys, welcome back. I have a car up in the air right now. Uh, it's on the left. Um, I'm taking out the uh, rear main seal. Um, I have stuff laying around here. I'm gonna go through real quick what I did so far to get this off. It's really not that difficult to do. Um, I went ahead, started by uh, undoing the uh, linkage, the shift linkage. Uh, I just undid it from the actual selector up here. One little tab, which is that little little thing right there. And that goes right over the top of that, on the, that goes through there, and on the other side. Way easier than taking it off from this, for me anyway, because my bushing is very, very tight on there, and I do not want to mess with that anymore. Um, so I went ahead and did that. I uh, undid my uh, bolts to my drive shaft. Um, I marked uh, the number one right here, along here, just in case my reference went away. I have it right there. Um, I'm leaving that all together. I'm gonna leave this mount on so you take off the brace itself these three bolts So these three bolts come off take off your uh, bolts to the uh, brackets that hold on to your uh, exhaust You want to take those off. I took off my o uh, all four O2 sensors as well just to give me some uh, a little more clearance here so I don't have to worry about wires catching so uh, Got that done um, I unhooked my 13-pin uh, connector, which is uh, leaking oil terribly bad again, so that's probably one issue with the bad shifting again. So I gotta uh, do something with that. Once I pull the transmission out, I'll see what's going on exactly with that. Um, after that, I just unhooked all my O2 sensors. I unhooked the uh, fuel level sensor, or not fuel level, uh, oil level sensor. Uh, took that off, those are all dangling right here. So every, all our wires are out of the way. Um, there's a bolt right here you're gonna take off that holds on the two uh, transmission lines. They're gonna be separated a little bit, this bottom one from the top one. Uh, and then you'll just take off the two, one right here and one right here. You're gonna take those off after. I'm gonna do that last before I take out everything. Um, but I did that already. Um, everything's pretty much ready to go. Uh, you're gonna put a 27 millimeter wrench a socket on the flywheel, or not the flywheel, but the uh, the crank. Uh, you're gonna have to do that to move it to get under in this little hideaway thing. It's a little plastic tab that's gonna be in the front right here. Pop that out, and then you're gonna have all your bolts that hold to your uh, torque converter, which I took them out already. They're right here. There's two, four, six. There's six bolts all together. Just keep rotating them. It's very easy to do. I broke them loose with a little uh, impact real quick and then I just unscrewed them by hand. Uh, it's very easy to do. So that transmission is literally ready to be separated from the, the car now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off these uh, lower bolts, uh, um, break them loose a little bit, and then I can go to the, I'll have to drop the car down then and take them off from the top, and then I'll have to do that, and then I can bring over my, uh, or well, my brother's uh, engine uh, cart thing so I can actually lower this uh, down low enough to the ground where I can jack that up and just take the uh, put all the pressure or all the weight on the transmission. That way I can do this one man style and then just take it off, slide it out from underneath with the cart. Easy peasy. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and put the new seals and everything in then. Um, as you can tell, I do have oil leaking everywhere which uh, I'm pretty disappointed about because it's actually coming from my, this, where my fill cap is, my gasket, I guess my gasket didn't seal good enough that I made for this, and it was leaking and just running right off. It's not, it's not horrible, so it's not a super bad fix, but actually I may just end up trying to tighten that a little bit there because I may have not tightened that enough, but uh, yeah, it's gonna kinda suck but I gotta put some new gasket maker then on that whole top thing. But the car's gonna be here probably for a little bit. Uh, kind of figure out this stuff. Unfortunately, guys, uh, the this morning when I decided to take the car out finally to come here, uh, it was giving me a rough start and uh, the map code came back. Yeah, it, it really sucked seeing that code come back on there. Same code, uh, P0105. Uh, it's a map circuit fault. Um, I went ahead and cleared it and then restart the car and the code did not show back up at all. I scanned it numerous times. It did not show up again after that. So if it's only happening on cold start, there's something else going on. Um, I'm not sure if it's something with the actual cold start with the ECU. 
Uh, I don't know if there's something I can uh, maybe get done tuning wise. I can adjust that because it seems like it's throwing too much, it seems, on the cold start and messing up the the fuel ratios and everything like that and it's tripping the, the, the fault. So I gotta figure that out still again, but it does run and drive, it runs and drives beautifully uh, after it's cleared, obviously. Um, but knowing that it did have a little bit of a rough shift, which this 100% is why. So I got, because I did wonder there was some red fluid and uh, I don't know if I can get that up in here and not. There you go. There's some red. Yep, it's leaking through there. This bolt, I cannot get off for the life of me. I was sick and tired of it and done. Oh, don't forget to unhook a your ground wire from your transmission. It'll be up here. It's on a, uh, a, a e, e socket. I just take that off and I just stuffed it between my exhaust right here. But yeah, don't forget to put that back on once you're done. Um, but guys, yeah, this is it. So, uh, part one right now. <laughs> I might get a little bit more footage here. I'm um, just taking out whatever I can. Um, but after that, I will, uh, when I pull the transmission out, I'll fill you guys back in with what's going on with the, the transmission and everything else. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to fill you in a little bit here. Uh, just uh, cranking away. Got uh, just uh, like a couple hours left here until I have to leave. But yeah, I'm just trying to get as much done as I can. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for uh, watching the videos. Um, hopefully this is uh, informative for you guys. Um, the bolt sizes for the... Uh, in the for the uh, the flex plate onto the uh, torque converter is uh, these are 13 millimeter bolts. So if you are curious, it's only a 13 millimeter, and then these bolts all around the transmission or are going to be a E. Uh, what was it an, an E14? Yeah, E14. One of these bad boys. So those are those. The dogs are, are super fun. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, yeah, that's it for right now. And then I will fill you guys in later on what's going on. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.